Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not from me. Because guys in your position already said it enough? Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for him coming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> gun out. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here! Officer? Oh, 
That doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. The officer's shotgun is over there. Why would he have needed that? Why would he have needed that? Officer? God damn. Officer?
Hello? Anybody? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Just go for a dip. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Gosh, that beeping. That kid lived here. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Ugh, cable's out. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. A Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, C. 
Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been... All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me.
Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. 
Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. 
On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Sean's still working on that fence. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn.
How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Hey, 
Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! <laughs> Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten! Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits! We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine! Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen! We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten! Shut up! We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in! Kenny! Stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then... There'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Jesus! Oh, my God. 
I'm not gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Hey, Carly. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Yeah. 
just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if Ron gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. I can't reach that brick. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I just sort of ended up here. Oh, cool. You've got that little girl with you. Yeah, I'm just taking care of her. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hair than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of, he has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I can't reach that brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. Let's head back inside. Okay. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, 
appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're... Gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? We let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. <laughs> man, look at me. I don't know if I can carry this. What else is there to do? Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh. Yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well.
Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. It continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless you all. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more more of them i mean jesus we need to stick together and get through this you're from here i work at warner robbins the air force base yeah i know it pilot nah just mechanical admin stuff i deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day sometimes a plane if i'm lucky you i work up at uta was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Oh, and Lee? Yeah? It was a crazy situation and you froze. Before, with that thing coming out of the bathroom? Yeah. Just don't beat yourself up over it. We stick together and we'll be okay.
Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I was scared. Yeah. I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight, we just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, um, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage.
There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. There's a photo over there. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I was scared. Yeah. I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street.
Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. It's all melted now. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, leave. Just leave me alone. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a couple almost got me and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay, this 
is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Right there, close. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. They really want to get into that room. We can hide by that pickup. You need to find a weapon. Let's keep looking around. We can do something with that car, I bet. Near the front. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Let me see the spark plug. Force on inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper.
that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine.
Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you, too. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. The pills are in there. How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean... You guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? She was dead anyway, all bitten up like that. It was over for You better hope you're never bitten then. No shit. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, guys. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's the remote to my dad's TV. story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? 
That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Oh, my God. 
Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Why is that door not locked anymore? Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Glad we need your help. Leave hurry. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Are you, are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. <laughs> Did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! The window is screwed! Go! Mm, I found something!
Oh, you son of a bitch! No! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up with the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, Kim. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway... I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Oh man, check this out. The Juma 
Megatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Doc, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! <sighs> Ooh. No more, please! No more, please! Please, please! On the walking dead. I know who you are. Oh, I oh, got shit. another good one for you. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. 
Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <sighs> Larry's just... Uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. Who raided your camp? I, I 
don't know! Guys with guns! Please, we won't bother you, I swear! Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please! Ben, shut up! My dad was Special Forces. I know what I'm doing! Just see if you can get him out! After that, you can leave us or whatever! I don't care! Please! We gotta get him out of there! Oh god, thank you! Fine, but you gotta hurry! <laughs> Hurry, please, hurry! <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Really bad. Just get me out, please! Oh man, please, do something! We're gonna be surrounded any minute! Please! Please! Get me out of this! Just leave him like this! Try to cut the chain! Oh god! Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Let's go, let's go! Oh god! Shit. Is he... He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh god! What happened? Oh, the hell what that? What's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. 
everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. <sighs> Here, Larry.
Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. <sighs> keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Well, good luck with that wall. We'll get it. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh. I'll be okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. 
What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I... am really hungry. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Yeah. <laughs> 
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. 
That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it There's all There's only yourself. two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, a you know lot what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. 
It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Now, you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. 
It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright. I can suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Come on. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! You didn't deliver the goods! Now we're gonna turn the snow! I already got one of you! Over there! I got you now! Behind the tractor! Give us the food! You have to get out of the open! To die. No fuel! Of course. Where's our food? 
the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Come on out! I'm seeing you. You got it. Get it What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Did we push down? Goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you.
fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? We'll go in a few minutes. We just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. I've got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? You're not making me pick sides, Kenny. Well, you better think about it, because that time is coming. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. They look happy. I 
They're storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. That thing keeps a fence electrified. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Hey, I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships.
Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nothing. Empty. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours.
just water. Yuck, I don't need that. Empty, but it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Nothing but fuels. Shit. Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. 
Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Hey, don't use swear words, okay? Okay. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, 
He probably talks a little more than he oughta. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Alrighty then. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. False alarm. I'm back. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. 
I couldn't do it without them. Wait, doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Kenny thinks they're hiding something. I'm not sure what exactly, but we're starting to get a feeling about this place. I don't know. Maybe we should go have a look in that barn. Whatever you do, just be careful. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. I cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Just kinda creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever known. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Hello? I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. How's Mark doing in there? 
best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. switch. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. It's a small toolbox. A multi tool. That should be handy. I'm just going to borrow this for a second. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Driving the uh, what you call it? Um... Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast.
picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom! Dad! Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey. Let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Brenda, you are wow. an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. Danny's baseball trophy. Hmm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. This must be Terry. so much morphine for candles smart I guess someone needed some first aid recently musty as hell Ugh, what is this stuff looks like a bunch of medical waste in here IV tubes saline what would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff huh, where is that cord going Is that blood? 
Where the hell is Mark? Thought Brenda said he was up here resting. Feels like there's a storm coming. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. to your bags, man! Don't eat dinner. Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. It didn't have to be this way. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off! You're eating him! That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quiet. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade as me. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking black Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Don't go near my Mommy, fucking family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! <gasps> Lee? Lee? <gasps> Let go of her, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. 
You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Please settle down! Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and make you swallow them! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. Come on! Try us out! Our cowards! Dad! Meat. Yeah, I don't want to know what kind. Marvelous on the way. Let us out now. Shelves are pretty sturdy. Live? We can no, climb up. Help. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking they got caught you, Douglas, Duck Lee. You Those right fuckers have my family. I know. Me. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Dad, this isn't helping. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door. Dad, stop! God damn it! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? <gasps> no. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, three-hundred-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy! Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up! Come on. You're right, Kenny. Let's get this you over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! No, no, no! Let go of me! No! Please! No! 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 understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So we won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. <laughs> I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? 
I'm working on it. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. Larry would have wanted- Fuck you! You think he wanted this? Of course not. But... You don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He'd want you to get out of here. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry. Get away. I just need to... I told you to get the fuck away! Get away. Get away. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. Get away. Get away. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. Kaja and Doc. What about him? You don't think the St. John's? No! They, they need Kaja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. Sure. And Duck is valuable as a bargaining chip. We gotta get to them. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she'd probably side with the St. John's against us. What now? You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There might be a duck behind it. Oh, God. What are they doing to catch a duck? I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. There ought to be an air duck behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. Duck behind the air conditioner is big enough. We might have found our way out of here. Yeah? But I need something to loosen the screws. I got nothing. Shit. Hang tight. Maybe I can scrounge something. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. 
In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. 
Sick bastards. All of them. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Well, we sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Yeah, I think we should to keep them alive. Not to kill. I'm gonna need him on the trail. He's inside. He's not coming in. Uh, oh, I know, neighbor. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just walk right yeah, out. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. As soon as he passes, it, jump in from behind. See what he's doing now. can live. Cannibalism is not the answer! Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! Just like you didn't kill Jolene! You don't have what it takes! <laughs> Fucking coward! This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you! Fuck you, Lee. You and Kenny murder my dad, but you leave this piece of shit alive? Fucking asshole. Oh god, don't hurt him! That's Katja! Please, no! Lily, please, keep her safe. Something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. 
Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Katja and the kid. Oh, Come here. Let me go. Lee, get back. Don't come in here. You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? And her gold, Brenda. You don't want to do this? Just go away and leave us be! Stop right there! I mean it! It was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Oh! <laughs> 
Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> Said, it's over! Just walk away! Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers. But I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers.
Don't shoot. We're here to help. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> hmm. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. Baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If you're I find it, you're thinking you're safe. You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much face is It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? 
Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy. I'm the one keeping this group going. We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else. <laughs> on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should stay, Kenny. We've made an all right go of it so far. Lee, you know that's bullshit. Those folks in the woods keep giving us hell. It's only a matter of time. We should get in the RV and get to the ocean. I need you with me on this, pal. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Mm. Huh. Hmm. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. There's no safe way through that mess. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on.
Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either gonna have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are gonna have to get a hell of a lot longer. I get it. I'll keep looking. Huh. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I hope not. She'll get there. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. You okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. No! No! Go away! Go! Go! Help me! Somebody help me! Oh God! Oh God! What the? What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Fuck! 
coming. Come on, Lee. Up and over. Still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We don't have walker problems. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Instead of what? Letting her suffer? You guys couldn't try to save her? You shot her instead. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. 
Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. It's just a few things. It's not a big deal. Bullshit, it's not. An attitude like that puts you on the top of the suspect list. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. It's Lily's room. Hey. Find anything? Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to, not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. 
Are you worried about morale at all? The darker things get, the more we have to worry about people giving up. Tell me about it. You're worried about people's moods? Have an ice cream social. I haven't found out anything Well, there's yet. nothing to find in here. Ask around. Jesus, investigate. Okay, okay. I'll be back. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. How's the drawing? Good. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Hi, guys. Hi, Lee. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to Macon much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and... Maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, 
Broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. How's it going, Ben? Still fine. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Hmm. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you, too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone. But think about who you trust, and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, 
and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. It's Lily's room. Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. What is it? I killed someone before all of this. You think that's news? I guess I hoped it was. Worse. Did you think that story died with my dad? Anything else? No. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? 
It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge, at the dairy. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. I, uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? He was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. It went about as well as you would expect. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? I'm a good guy. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. More chalk. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us help, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there.
You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, We've got man, our people out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta, that's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up! Oh. Christ! Oh, shit! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, 
We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. If not now, when? Look at what just happened. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we've found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all Whoa, we know. Whoa, my family's not a bunch of meth-riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay? Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker! You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a ben, bitch. Ben, you have no other options Leave here. him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. Don't you think so, Kenny? There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll I'll do watches for months. Huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just you think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. You're pathetic. Look at you. Kenny, what's it going to be? He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence! Stop treating him like this! Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute! Then you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you! Stop this! You're torturing him! No! Ben! Stop! This is about trust, and I've never trusted you! Tell her. Just do it, Ben. Wait, Jesus, well, who are you right Tell now? Her what? She'll kick me out of the group. We won't. We'll understand. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Drop it. Holy fuck. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. 
I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken, Lee! Why? Why, Lily? You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Lee, a word, please? You okay? Katya needs you for something. We need to speak to you, up here. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? during the raid. What's the plan? You've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. Too. I heard you outside my treehouse that day, and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. What? Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV, and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away door was open. He was dumb. Got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked.
Now we gotta deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. Hey man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I'm used to it by now. We all are, aren't we? She murdered her, Lee. I was there, Kat. I'm sorry. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Pencil. Sharpen, too. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. Doors closed. Mm. 
Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A clipboard. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Looks unopened. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. in pretty good shape for a wreck. Jesus! Doors closed. This door's gonna hurt. Things were designed to save lives. Okay, you aren't gonna like this. Kids might like those. Shit. You'll see me if I come in this way. Better get back to it. Here, I found this. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Shit. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. <sighs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah.
I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Okay. Fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. It's a bunch of papers. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah, should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Hey, Ken. What's up? You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore him. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I don't know about leaving Lily back there. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Don't worry about it. We just would have had to deal with her eventually. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing started. Uh, I don't know. It's a long shot. I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? I'll get back to it. Me too. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. That's the throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. 
Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. that pin out. That's definitely what's got us stuck. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! I can get it over there. You touch any of my stuff? I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben, too. You have candy. Boy got the last piece I got on me. Figures. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? I better get back to it. Hey, Chuck. Honey. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? 
I guess. Scary, kind of. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's a survivor. Has been from day one. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee! I need you, right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'll get this train stopped right quick. Stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. Stop the train. Katja needs you, Kenny. Duck will be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there!
the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk here and relax. Then talk. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Knock this shit off. So, you wanna fight then? <sighs> yeah, I do. You're acting like nothing's wrong. And somebody's gotta knock some sense into you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this. You bet your ass I'm gonna. I've had your back. Don't make me fucking regret it. You want to hurt people because you're afraid! Losing duck ain't enough for you! Because you fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! And it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we going to do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course.
What's happening? I'm gonna take care of Doc. I thought he was going to die. I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Get, get, gotcha. Why, cat? Honey, oh, fucking God. <laughs> What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. Swear. Sorry. I took some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? 
would do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled, Jesus. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Kenny ended up shooting his son out there. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey. Yo. Hey. Yo. Hey. Yo. Hey. Yo. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Hey. Yeah? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Ken. It's the best plan. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. Doesn't matter a lick to me. Fuck. Just gotta move forward. Hey, Ben. Hey. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. I don't know if we can count on Kenny. He's driving the train okay. We just don't know. I lost everybody I've known because of this. I didn't even get back to my house. Who knows what's up with my parents. Why didn't you try to find them? I... Nobody would go with me. It was a while ago. Well, what happened to Kenny is different. I guess. See you. Yeah. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. 
Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Steady now. Almost got it. Aim lower. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Close. Now keep it steady. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. to the left. A little bit lower. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Chuck has some booze left. It's a fifth of whiskey. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. They look clean enough. He's lived here a while. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. 
We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't moat. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know? I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. different but you do it now to protect yourself and to protect me I was sent to jail did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't all the time okay I think I'm about done I can probably tear these pieces back with something here I have some hair thingies you do uh, yeah Lily gave them to me for sleeping there all set Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. I'm sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? It's full of maps and documents. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah. 
that it helped. There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. If you ever need to talk... I don't see that need to happen. It should. Have another with Chuck. You'll keep an eye out up here? Sure. Okay, then. Thanks. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them, like You'll get used to it. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody!
Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. A thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Define trouble. Anything that gets you killed, or worse. And it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. We'll be down here. Leads up to that wrecked anchor. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Ben's young and stupid, and I think harmless. The first two things you said don't really go with the third. I know. We just have to keep an eye on him. No sweat. It's been rough for everybody down there. I'm sure you can say the same. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? It's empty. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. That's about the only useful thing in here. to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, 
We could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? These two are joining us. We'll see about that. Gotta be careful about newcomers, I say. I don't know what it is. I could tell you two are good people. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. I said don't touch it, jackass. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Our cat is gonna be pissed. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Learning the ropes can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me. Maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. Talk to you later. fireball if we tried to blast through. I guess it's good Clem's got a woman to talk to. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, it'd be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask me. He likes to break things. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Toughen up. It's you, me, and now Chuck. Who knows what these new people have planned? There are gonna be a lot more walkers to take care of. That's what I'm afraid of. 
I'm telling you, Lee, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of you. Maybe I should check out that train station. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. That paint has been dry for months. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. We'll have to find a way in. <clears throat> mm, won't burn. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. I can't see in there. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. A 
That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. We're locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Keys, now! So good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight year old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. I don't. And she's more impressive than I thought. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No. You just have to learn to pull the trigger. It's so hard. Don't think. Just do it. Live with what happens. I'll try. They didn't have much business back then. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hi, girls. Hey. 
We were trying to get used to being on our own, Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there, especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six, or eight, or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. Shit. What's that? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no. But I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Okay. 
Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Previously, on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Can't I just hold it?
Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. It's not safe to stop out here in the open. We need to keep moving. He can rest after we find a boat and get out on the water. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. What? No, that's not an option. We can't- Lady, I've known you for all of 12 hours. You don't get to say we unless you mean just you and him. You know, since this all started, I've seen the best come out of a lot of people and the worst come out of a lot of others. Guess we know which side you came down on. There you go again. We. There is no we. There's us, and there's you and your boyfriend slowing us down. Go to hell, Kenny. <laughs> you taking a look around lately? It ain't that long a trip. You need some help with him? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Omid here. Give me your arm. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! Too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! <laughs> God damn it! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Ah! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go, now! I'll be fine. Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Ah, uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. 
We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. He used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside, now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Yeah. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Damn. Well, only am gonna be able to bust through that. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so... Where's the dog? The shovel is never not useful. Looks 
like something was buried here. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oh, God, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. Get it off. Ugh. Okay, that is not Jesus. cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Guess this used to be his home. I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. 
I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. We never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. All cleaned out. to stop working a while ago. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. How's it coming? Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure, but right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Not exactly my style.
All clear in here. Nothing hiding in here. Just one more to check. It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Clementine, Krista asked you a question, and both of us would like an answer. Who have you been talking to? I don't know. He said he was a friend. He said he could help me find my mom and dad. I told him we were looking for them in Savannah. Clementine, look at me. What else have you told this man? Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Do it, Lee. Not, not again. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna take care of it. I'm sorry, man. I... I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can either. You, you're right. I can't put you through this again. I'll take care of it. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. I'm sorry.
We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. 
Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I'll just have a look around, okay? Jesus. An 
abandoned newsstand. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Something like this. Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? city has been boarded up for all the good it did. I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. Like it's still intact. Locked. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Great. Needs a quarter to work. solid. Don't think I'm going to see anything until I find a quarter. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. The hell? Get down! Get down!
Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. You're not from Crawford. Have you been following us? Following you? Kenny, don't! you people hi I'm Clementine this is Lee and Kenny hi my name's Molly you guys really aren't from Crawford are you no I'm from Macon Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, 
No elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. But still, children, you're not saying me. In God's name, why? No one stays in Crawford unless they can pull their own weight. Otherwise, you're just another mouth to feed, another drain on their precious resources. What does that mean, pull their own weight? It just means being able to help out, like you do all the time. Doesn't sound like any kind of way to live to me. Couldn't agree more. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just wait. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey, you're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. Come on, make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Get your ass out of there! God, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. No going back now.
sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. I ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Turn the water. Deserve better, old man. Oh, my God. 
Someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Who are you? Nobody. Just lost. Trying to get back home. Yeah, well... You took a wrong turn. This is our home, not yours. And you're not welcome here. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. We just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? I told you. My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? 
He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you hear? Clem? Ain't got time for that. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Clementine? No sign of her in here. See her out there. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Clem? Clementine? Uh. <laughs> Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Clem, you in here? drawings, but where is she?
Clementine! Come out! Please! Doesn't look like she's in here. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's not good enough. <sighs> Whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. This was here the whole time? I know, right?
Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay. That's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Clementine, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omid. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me.
Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. doing inside here get inside fast <laughs> Sauce. 
Your guess is as good as mine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it.
hopscotch. Creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh, <laughs> yeah right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault? I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Too bad.
said, I don't know the combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly! You out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. This is the place I'm looking for. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. <laughs> Better not get too close. He's mine. What were you doing up there? What do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat.
Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Something you need? So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. That blinking. Must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. No power. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Locked. No way in. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. It's still attached to the terminals. off got that one off got it yeah but we still got a problem here put it in here i'll carry it okay follow me move your ass Shut. Shoot it out! Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump! 
What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Come on! Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery! Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans, they weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great, helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others? Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Oh, <laughs> 
shit. <laughs> Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Phones probably haven't worked in months. Hey, Vernon. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. No tape inside. Hey, Krista. Yeah. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with that her... That is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up... Oh, you... come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. 
There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Uh, already cleaned out. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. That you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in.
Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We we'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Jesus! Chip! Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! <laughs> It wasn't me! Keep going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That better hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. 
I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here! Fine. Go ahead. Tell them! It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead. You hear me? Dead? My wife and child? You got them both fucking killed. Kitty, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now we gotta go. Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! You know Ben didn't mean any harm. He was just trying to help. And I'm supposed to give a crap about his good intentions? The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. 
Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -hmm. uh. Hey... Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. 
And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Well, where will we go? We'll go wherever Kenny says. He's a good captain, and he knows the water's down south. He'll know where to take us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, God.
him. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine, and in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Kotch and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right. I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right, if he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem. But I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Where the hell are they? 
Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Bitch! What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> Yeah. Why? Clementine? Clementine! No. No. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Clementine! No, Lee. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping league. Then what is it? A rescue.
You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. And it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Just some surgical supplies. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me up just looking at it. Looks like a carjack. Imagine this being used on a body. and they dug some secret tunnels or something. Hey, don't worry. We'll find Clementine. Damn right we will. No matter what. To do that, you gotta get us another way out. We're lucky there's no axe holding that door closed, huh? Oh, shut up. Any trouble? thousands of dead filling the sewers and God only knows how many up top so you know don't worry about this door right now we got it I'll have these doors open in two seconds. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No. We 
leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? We go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Yes, then. Lee! Lee! Oh, God. Are you alive? Get up! gonna fall! Shit. Fuck, dear. You have to pull yourself up. Good job. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. She walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle.
it's an extension ladder. Not going back in there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. No way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't gonna let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been solid since day one. What's this, day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with pay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies, too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. When it all comes down to it, if it's just you and Clementine for some reason, I think you'll have plenty of reason to want to live. Don't talk like that. The way things have been going, I don't have any choice, Ben. If we use that bell tower to lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion and River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay. But you still have to get over there. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't.
That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? way tons of them jesus now get back here i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far Far, just a little hop. <sighs> Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? Clementine? She gave him the boat? She... I don't think she would do that. Hey guys? No, Clementine's not with the boat. Vernon and his crew took it. No fucking way! The invalids?! Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization. Yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. 
I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are going to have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Gotta have hope. We all do. Even you. Quit talking like you're already dead. Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten in God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben! Go upstairs! And do what? Just go! Omid! What is it? Front doors! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this!
Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Oh, Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna... have to... just... Lee, get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should've cut it off. At least then there would've been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! 
You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. Let's see. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. The day before you get the flu. That's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get done in time, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know... Whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want Kenny to look after her. Stop it. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see him with his family. What'd he do to protect them? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We, uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, nah, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him though, right? Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. Alright. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone, too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. 
maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? You did that? Might have. I'm sorry for hurting you anyway, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. And sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Smart. Think of all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. We all could have done more. Myself included. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's sick, but... Think of all the pain they avoided. You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. What do you call this thing? Art? Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead.
Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad... You might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Are you okay? What the fuck happened, Ben? I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, oh. Oh. He's screwed. He's not screwed! He can't die down here! What do you want to do, Ken? We can't... Oh. Oh. Fuck! Oh God, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out! Shit! Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back! She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Okay. I'm going. Good! Get back up there! Now! What are you gonna do? Fucking go! <laughs> Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah! <laughs> What happened? up and I don't know there's nothing else god damn god I heard a shot we needed more bullets you needed a miracle not your fault, Lee. I can't believe them.
You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. It wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? Well... Just take care of her as long as you can. Then find her a family that's capable. We're capable. You and your girlfriend might want different things. That's enough. Fine. But you heard me. She'll be fine, Lee. Fuck. Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They gotta know where the next meal is. That's a thing to say. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything! 
It's fucked, Lee! I'll figure something out! There's not a ton of options! Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if... Don't what if. I'll meet you. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. 
Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I did take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer. 
and a thief, and I'm going to hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon, isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah.
Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Savannah. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Just a little more. It's so gross. So? And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no! 
Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. As fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! See? Clementine, honey. What? What happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know.
There's a baseball bat under the counter clamp. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. You can open it. Mother in there is trapped. We'll figure out what to do together. Then open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. It's okay. My parents. 
It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You can leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Please. It's time to go. You gotta get out of here. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. Save the bullet. I'm not going anywhere. You have to always think about what you might need later. Pulling the trigger of a gun into the life clear. You feel yourself lose something every time. The first time, the most. Don't do it unless you absolutely have to. I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Find Omid and Krista. They're looking for a boat. Find them. They'll take good care of you. Stay away from the cities. Indefinitely. They're just not worth the risk. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. Mm-hmm. 